Greetings in the name of the Lord. Today I just want to share a few updates of what God is doing in Windward Missionary Church. About a month ago, both my auntie and my cousin, my auntie and my dad's side, my mom, my cousin and my mom's side, both passed uh, within a day of one another, and it was very painful for all of us as a family. And what God has been doing in my heart and my life is really uh, teaching me how to have a merciful heart. And uh, it's it's been hard. He's been circumcising my heart to make it more tender like his. And uh, it's it's been a burden, a good burden. Uh, but it's been weighty. It's been heavy. Uh, much like many other people who have lost loved ones, especially in the past two months, and seeing uh, many deaths in our family and our friends. But yet in the midst of those struggles, God has revealed himself to me in very powerful, unique, and personal ways. And so last night, my auntie Valasi, the sister of my auntie who passed, Auntie Ella, Valasi shared with me that she went to visit my mom and my dad just to give thanks uh, for the gift that we gave to her and her family uh, with the passing of Auntie Ella. And when my dad saw her, my dad was overjoyed. My dad started to express himself very emotionally. And he is not an, an emotional person. I was <laughs> dumbfounded, I was overjoyed, and I was so pleased in the reaction of my dad in seeing his sister, Valasi. My, the way Valasi was expressing uh, his reaction, I, I was so happy for my dad. He's been through so much struggle, so much pain in his upbringing, dealing, struggling with Parkinson's right now. And yet God is healing his heart. Uh, God is renewing his mind. As Valasi uh, left, uh, they embraced and uh, Valasi told me that my dad just kept saying, I love you, Valasi, I love you, Valasi, I love you, and started to weep, and they both wept, and they broke down. Uh, Valasi said she was overwhelmed with tears and emotions. And these are things that wouldn't describe my dad. I know it's always in there, but because of pain, trauma, it's hard for him to, to release it, and I'm so thankful that God really brought healing in my dad, as well as Velocity, as they embraced. Last week, I went to go visit my auntie Kathy and my cousin Nao, who lost uh, their son and brother, and uh, so much grief and darkness and pain, just like any other family. And uh, fortunately, I was able to be used by God to usher them into the kingdom of God through Jesus Christ, so they got saved. And now the work of discipleship begins, but there's hope of transformation, of changes in deep ways um, from mourning uh, into comfort through Christ. So in the midst of the past couple of weeks, several weeks of just great pain and hurt and feeling lost in some sense of emotionally, uh, God has brought so much healing in and through my life in this dark time that God truly is faithful that even in the darkness his light will shine brightly so I just want to share that as a blessing but also as an encouragement I pray that as as you go through your challenges as you go through the valley Jesus the good shepherd uh, is leading you is guiding you uh, follow him faithfully and obediently uh, second thing I want to share is um, uh, our women, led by my wife, Becca Kapihe, uh, will be partnering with other women, about 12, uh, 10 to 12 women, going through the study, uh, the book of Elijah by uh, Priscilla Schreier. It's for 14 weeks, and um, not only will they study the character of Elijah, but more so, I believe that God will use the 14 weeks for character formation in our women to be the likeness of Christ. And everything that Elijah had to go through in adversity, in solitude, uh, in growth, so that he could be the servant that 
uh, God created him to be and called him to be for his purposes. I pray and I trust and I anticipate that God will do the same thing for our women. And so if you are interested as a woman, as a lady, to participate on this journey 14 weeks, please contact my wife. You can email her at bkapihe10 at yahoo.com. I'll put that in the description. You can email her, reach out to her. Uh, for us as men, as husbands, if our, if our wife, our spouse is, is going through that course, I encourage you to pray um, for your wife. Pray that they be open, pray that they commit themselves, and pray that they trust, allow the Lord to really work in their life and changing, transforming their uh, character. I got another praise. Uh, thank you for those who contributed. Uh, we uh, to the, the uh, restoration of our doors, actually we're getting new doors. Uh, it's been purchased, but just like anything else with the shipment, or shipping is taking a while, so we should receive it uh, and installed um, this month of February. Uh, but also, we want to give people an opportunity to give as well. Uh, we do need a new computer uh, so that uh, we can uh, live stream and we can continue to, to do ministry on a on a tech level uh, seamlessly because we have so much uh, work being put on one computer, it's actually slowing it down. Uh, so uh, we look, uh, the budget is about $3,000. So if you want to give above and beyond your tithe, we encourage you to, uh, we welcome you to sow into this ministry for God's glory, for your benefit, but also for our blessing as well. Uh, lastly, we are going through um, uh, our core value of protecting and strengthening our connections this month of January this past month was focusing on building stronger people this month will be about how to build stronger connections um, and then uh, the month of March will be about how to create safe places one way you can stay engaged in not just hearing the message on Sundays but how to apply the message Monday through Saturday, just follow us on uh, on Facebook at Winwood Missionary Church. Uh, every day there's a devotion, there's some scriptures, and also uh, some questions. Uh, go through the questions, pause, reflect, allow the Holy Spirit to minister to you in those questions on the devotion. And secondly, be able to dialogue with a, a family member, a friend. It's so much better. Our best results is actually we team up with one another. So I just want to encourage you in that. May the Lord bless you, protect you. May the Lord smile and you be gracious to you. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. Have a blessed day.